I was watching a video from a guy named Max Yuryev the other day, and he was talking about these really inexpensive lenses he found over on Amazon. They were about 85 bucks, and that got me searching on Amazon just to see how cheap you could get a lens for. And did you realize that for the type of camera that I film with here, the type of camera I've made some videos about before, micro four thirds cameras, you can buy a lens for $27, around about 25. I didn't believe it either, but here we are. And this is the box that it actually came in. As you can see, it is a CCTV lens. It was originally intended to be used on security cameras. It specifically mentions it's a TV lens, 25 millimeter F1.4 C mount lens. And aside from packaging and whatnot, inside of the actual box was the lens itself and the C mount adapter for 25 bucks. I'm gonna keep saying 25 because it's a little easier to say and remember than 27, but it's it's around that price point. I actually also just noticed at the bottom of the box was this set of instructions. It says screw the lens to the adapter, mount the combination lens adapter to the camera, switch on the camera, turn it to release without lens, set the release mode to A or M mode, set the desired aperture, manual focus, and shoot. That is the one thing to remember about this. This is an entirely manual, but still all metal lens. I am not a pro photographer. I don't know everything there is to know about these camera lenses. And you do have to keep your expectations kind of low because again, 25 bucks, but this is all metal. You can actually see the aperture blades down in there. And when you twist the front ring, it opens wide up. There you go. The focus ring is here at the back. It says near and far. So you just have to twist it like that. There is an awful lot of twisting that has to take place in order to go from near to far. You can see it goes around a couple of times. But I have played with this lens just a little bit and I, I found that it's a lot of fun to shoot with because it is so super small. As it said in the instructions there, you basically just screw it onto the adapter just like this and then attach it to the camera. And the really cool thing about this is the camera that I'm using, the Panasonic G7, I'm currently using a 20 millimeter f1.7 lens. This is 25 millimeter f1.4. So we can actually do a little swap here. And it's a little hard to tell by looking at the little viewfinder over here, but it looks like I'm in focus and the background is now all nice and creamy smooth and whatnot. It should be mentioned here though, we are using Micro Four Thirds camera and it was intended for a much smaller sensor on the CCTV cameras. So there's gonna be a little vignetting up in here in the corners. It's very dark in this area. So you're not gonna see a whole lot of it. Maybe where my hand is here, you can see it's a little darker. Up here in the corner, you can see it gets a little dark. I've taken a lot of photos with this at this point, just playing around with it. I got it on the day of my son's eighth birthday and his birthday a party so I took a lot of photos there so you can see some of those here but here you can see it does work for video it's just it's entirely manual everything that you do with it is going to be manual so you're gonna have to manually change the aperture manually change the focus but for 25 bucks I mean just looking at this in the little viewfinder over there it doesn't look all that bad it's surprisingly good considering the fact that this lens that I normally use I paid about $300 for 27 25 dollars $300. Granted, you do get full-time autofocus with this and everything is by wire. It's all within the camera and it is a little bit of a larger lens. This is a teeny tiny little thing that I'm filming with. But I think what I'll do, I'm going to go ahead and put this lens on my GX850 and I'll do a few clips here and there. Maybe go out and about the town with my son. We're going to go out to the library and stuff. So maybe I'll get some photos and videos there and I'll show them to you. But really, I just, this was a curiosity thing. I wanted to see how this would look, how this would work, if it would work. And so far, I've actually been extraordinarily impressed with it. For $25 to $27, $30 or less, you're looking at a lens you can cram onto a camera and not have to worry if it breaks. And not worry that it's going to break because it's made of metal, it's solid, and it's tiny. Let's go take a look at some other photos and videos from it. So we're in a bit of a dimly lit room here, and actually one of the issues with this lens you can kind of see as we turn slightly toward the light, you see the glare right in here. Obviously doesn't have all of the proper coatings that it needs, but still, it makes for a nice little very neat effect. Everything else is set to auto except the aperture. Outdoors you actually have to stop it down quite a bit because if I take it back up to f1.4 it's gonna go really really bright and blown out. Actually that's not too bad I suppose. It gives this really neat sort of horror film effect. You know you've got the stuff that's in focus here and then blurry and just a little bit of a look at some selfie video outdoors. I do have this at almost f1.4 but you can see look at the background there nice and blown out and kind of kind of got a little bit of a swirl to it. I like that. I actually like that a lot. But I would say if you're planning on doing any sort of video with this, don't intend to do manual focus because when I start moving the focus ring, yeah, it takes an awful lot of turning to focus. So there you go. This guy looks pretty decent though. You got this really neat portrait style shot of Yoda here in my office. Again, no image stabilization. So the slightest movement you can see shakes a lot. Here's some decently lower light footage. Baby playing. You having fun with the blocks over there? 
We can stack those things up every day, doesn't matter. And again, some very low light footage. You can see everything in the background, nice and blurry. What are you doing? Don't eat the blocks. So I guess to wrap this all up here today, tell me what you think about this down below. Do you think this is actually worth the price? $30 or less, $25 or whatever, for this super cheap, mostly unbranded, I think it actually said Photosy is the name of the company behind it, but there's a bunch of them out there. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. But thank you guys as always for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, if you've not subscribed before, if you got unsubscribed somehow, and I'll see you again next time.